the water closet or le double WC. <laughs> Y'all ain't know I spoke in French, did you? If you're a black woman who was already dating black men, did that girl telling you to date white men make you say, you know what? No, I don't know. Not no more. Is this a dream? giving you a look around the living room to show you the progress of which you can see there's been none 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 I am not going to be in the biggest rush to get curtains these are pretty tall I don't know if you can get a scope of how tall these ceilings are which is why it tends to swallow my voice as I'm talking but they are pretty tall as are the windows but here's a clue here's the door that leads to my patio and the tree that I had previously in my bedroom next to it. That's a good fit there. But when I originally had this same tree in the corner over here, uh-uh. So I need to go, I don't need to, but I'm going to go to at home and hopefully I'll find a tree that's tall enough to fill that space. And I'm also going to want to forgive my bed. It's not yet made. In fact, I'm gonna do laundry today, so I'm not making it. But I'm also going to put a tree in the corner here, I think. And again, same very tall ceilings. Excuse me. Okay, I'm not sure where I left off before the phone call, but I do want to emphasize that I don't plan on doing a whole heck of a lot. And I'm not really big on design and all of that. I know typically people have the black and white Chanel and Ford and all of those, but this is my version of a black and white. I've had this book for a ton of years, but it's just filled with a lot of pictures. Um, I don't know if I ever shared it before, but my family is from Mississippi, so there's a lot of civil rights history and all of that um, well ingrained in me. But anyway, <laughs> over here, I just plan on finding that doggone candle. I haven't unpacked everything yet, so I guess it's still to be found. Hanging that clock. With regard to the kitchen, I really don't plan on doing much. I'm pretty much done here. Um, it doesn't call for a lot. There's not a lot of space to put a lot of things. So I will say I like the way this black faucet goes much better than the silver one. Okay, popping in super quick, ignore the racks and things and the Google boxes. Oh I, yeah, I got internet now. But anywho, I called maintenance department because there's some kind of blockage in the faucet that prevents it from allowing hot water to flow. So they're gonna have to replace the faucet. And I said, oh, okay. And then I was telling them, I said, yeah. So I was like, when you replace it, um, this one is silver. The appliances are stainless steel and the light fixtures and accents are in pools, you know what I mean? The accents are actually black. So uh, maybe if they got a stainless steel or a black faucet, I feel like that would look better. I could be dead wrong. But guess what he said? Oh, okay, you want black or stainless steel? I'll see what they've got. Okay, well in today's lesson of you have not because you ask not. Okay, and just like that, he has installed the black sink. I think it looks much, much better. And it just kind of goes with the whole flow of things. Also, I need to hang my Last Supper picture. And it does not really go <laughs> with the kitchen area and all of that, but it's relevant to me, so I'm going to hang it anyway. And I feel like with my furniture being yellow, I know some of you thought it was tan I believe but it's more of a yellow hue and maybe that doesn't pick up on the camera but it'll flow with it anyway and like I said it's important to me so that's what we're doing heading out to at home to find those trees I need little odd things that I just wouldn't notice such as trash bags and things like that so I might make a quick pit stop at Walmart come back see how those things go and then as I mentioned before I need to take the sheets off and do laundry a lot of times people do their reset on Sunday I get it and even though I'm not working right now I do a lot of I guess my Sunday reset routine on Saturday and then Sunday a lot of times I actually reserve for cooking 
that way I don't feel so worn out. You know, I know a lot of people knock it off. Oh, I just rather do it at one time, but no. I, on my way home from work a lot of times on a Friday, might pick up the groceries I need. That's a little alleviated from my Saturday. Then Saturday I clean and Sunday I cook. So anyway, that's a little bit about what we're doing today. Let's get moving. This is how they get you for the money. So I'm here just to look for trees, but I see some trays because now that I have a nice deep tub, all of a sudden I want to take baths again, but <laughs> I need my bath tray to hold a wine glass. I'm still going to have to look on Amazon. Yeah, no, they don't have them. All right, now let's look for the trees that I actually came for. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to need a very tall one. You know what, speaking of baths, does anyone else take a bath, get out of the bathtub, then take a shower? For me, it's something about sitting in the same water that I just washed in. It just, it never has sat well with me. Even as a kid, my mother was telling me I was funny acting about that. I don't think it's funny acting. No. I don't know, maybe it is. Well, that's it for the tall trees, no. And I'll tell you why I'm scared to buy it off of Amazon. People who have bought those say that when they get them in person, they look super fake. I'll just be darned. I like this aloe vera plant. That would be cute in the entrance. Also, what I'm trying to not do is buy a whole lot of things. You know, like I told you all before, it's a rental. But I do need to do just a few things, a couple of trees and stuff like that to make it cozy. Well, no tree today, folks.
need to lock off, I need to step back Constantly online, causing me setbacks, ooh Every day see so many people doing the things you do And they're doing it better too It's like, why should I even try When there's always some other guy Who's way ahead of you But makes it look easy Why would they need me? Oh, I hear it now I'm just being needy I try not to envy you To get angry you Do it better than me I try not to hate myself To lose confidence But you always do it better than me I just wanna be loved like you I just wanna miss me too Just wanna be the one That's really, really cool for you Yeah, everything you do is cool It's kind of unbelievable It's all so unachievable Yeah, almost inconceivable I'll never do it like you do Okay, you all of course know you're getting an abbreviated version of my cleaning routine but for this part I wanted to come into the water closet or le double WC <laughs> Y'all, I know I spoke in French, did you? We know to do the normal stuff of spray on the disinfected, you know, to clean the toilet handle and all of that area, as well as I also like to go in with a little um, toilet cleaner. You know, I think it smells good, gives it a little extra scent. And we're focusing primarily, of course, on the inside and making sure I don't drop my camera. I don't know if it shows or not, but you know where there tends to be that mold there. So that cleans it. But if you're looking to prevent it, you can see I got my good old fashioned vinegar. I believe I got this from Aldi. And you wanna pour it into this area. Don't ask me what it's called, I really don't know. But if you think about your toilet and where you sometimes see that mold, think of it like a hose. Those hoses we used to jump over and around when we were kids, that sprinkled water. I'm pouring this vinegar into that little pipe or hole thing that I don't know what it's called. How much I pour in there, I don't know. I pour about yay much in there. But the trick of it is, when you pour it into this little area, you have to make sure that it's a toilet you don't plan to use for the next hour or so. I mean, what it's going to do is it's going to kill that mold that's in there. So, not only are you cleaning the toilet with your brush and all that other stuff, forgive my noise but you're preventing it from happening in here in the first place so I'll let that sit for an hour or so then I'll come back clean the toilet and do all of that but I was aware that some people were not aware of that tip so I of course wanted to share it with you good Monday afternoon ladies as you can see I fixed another salad for myself mm -mm -mm. I'm making a concentrated effort to eat a little healthier, plus drink water. I have the best intentions to upload Saturday so we can hang out a little bit, but Saturday zoomed by. Let me see, Friday we went to at home and I put up the trees. I'm still getting used to them, but I think I'm going to keep them and go ahead and pop the tags on them. I'll show them to you later on today because it's too much reflection from the sun for you to really see it so I'll wait until I try to remember to wait until it gets dark and get your opinion on the one in the living room as well as the bedroom and I didn't hang my last supper because I don't think I have a good enough eye to really tell where the middle is and I don't have a yardstick or measuring tape I don't know where my measuring tape is but I'll wait for my dark let's see then Friday evening I went to a birthday celebration Saturday. Saturday, I went to the Hot Dog Festival. That's a fundraiser for the Negro League Baseball Museum we have here. And then Sunday, went to brunch. Today, I'm just feeling sluggish so 
hence the cleaner eating because Friday, strawberry margarita. Saturday, two margaritas. I did have some water because the hot dog festival was outside. I couldn't do that outside during the daytime, so I joined them in the evening. And I still had two margaritas. Then Sunday, we had wine. So I'm like, that's back to back to back drinking. I have been drinking my watermelon juice. I'm still juicing watermelon and stuff. I need another one. But as much water as it contains, sometimes I just want water. They say when you're thirsty like that, it's a sign of dehydration. Just saying, that made me get a refill of water. What else is going on? I got my new faucet. I like it more and more. The more I look at it, I got internet. Oh, that's a gift and a curse. But let me say this. Anytime you have someone, whether it's the maintenance people, um, Google people, as I had, please make sure you go back. Check your windows locks and all of that stuff. I'm sure your mother's taught you that before, but it's worth reminding. I have yet to find that anyone has left anything unlocked to come back later, but I don't like to break that habit. So I just wanted to remind you of that. I also did some cleaning and all of that stuff. I wonder how many of you knew the little toilet bowl tip or whatever. I was talking to someone at the hot dog festival, she was like, I never heard of that. So now I'm just really curious how many people have or have not heard about it. If it's a new tip to you, put a toilet emoji in the comment section just so I can kind of get a look and find out how many people hadn't heard that vinegar trick before. You know, it just dawned on me for however long I have been on this video. I think this is the first time I'm actually showing my face. I don't think I've had the camera on me for the last few days. I'm pretty sure. I'll find out when I go to edit. But anyway, you know what? If this is your first time seeing me, I am Kimberly, as you may have figured out. Uh, please consider me to be a new friend of yours. And hopefully as we kind of get to know each other through videos and chats and all of that, I'll become a good friend. And if you're one of my good friends who's already subscribed and returning, thank you so much for coming back and checking on me because I've been a bit of a mess. We're unpacking and putting up trees and all of that stuff. Okay, I had to finish up my salad. I feel like I've got a little piece of home training on here. It was good too. <laughs> but anyway, don't you love pockets and ropes? But um, what was I saying? I've got my faucet. Make sure you check, things like that. Um, got the internet. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a gift or a curse because I've been finding myself in some of this, what is it, the Queen of Kings, I think, mess that's going on with, if you don't know, if you've been under a rock like I have, because I had never heard of these people, the Queen of Kings family. I have seen a couple of their shorts before. And for anybody who doesn't know, this is, I'm referring to, he's a pretty big white guy who's married to a pretty petite black lady. And I want to say she had one or two sons prior to them getting married. And since being together, they've now had two additional kids. And I have not seen their channel directly. I've just seen a shorts or two where she's like climbing him like a tree maybe and he flips her around like she's real agile she must be a gymnast or something and they've done uh dances with the kids that's about all that i've seen but all of a sudden people are reviewing them or discussing them because i guess one night she must have had a bit much to drink and she was just saying things like Let's not pretend I'm not the one who's paid for our lifestyle, our house, car, and all of that. I'm not going to get into that detail. But um, I do have my theory on a drunk tongue speaking that sober mind. But it's just, it's sad because from what I gather, and again, I have not watched their channel to really know all the ins and outs, but it looks like they live this life that isn't quite true, or they, I should say they've portrayed a life that isn't quite true. And I'm wondering, what's the news about that? Like, this is what social media is for the most part, right? Like, even with me, 
there are times where I haven't done my laundry and I might have some piles of laundry sorted but not yet done or I may do my laundry and I may have clean clothes on the couch or something y'all don't see that I'm not showing that so for the most part people might think oh wow you know her house is always clean and it is not that's not the case so I just feel like I do try to be as authentic like I don't misrepresent that much is true I don't even like they talk about how when you do your thumbnails you should be poised and posed and a lot of people do the airbrushing and all of that stuff at the time I can't even remember to do my thumbnail so I might just take a snippet of a video clip and put that on as my thumbnail so I mean I, I genuinely I need to feel authentic because I feel like if people accept something that I've represented that isn't me then that to me just seems lonely like I know people who misrepresent themselves I know people who um yeah they're they're not authentic and they seem like some of the most miserable people I know which takes me back to this woman it's so many people that just seem to be piling on to her and I don't know how old she is she looks young to me I mean if I was guessing I would say maybe she's blown out 30 candles but she looks pretty young and people are just dogpiling and and I, I think there's been incidents of people sending cops to her house they found out where she stays somewhere in Hawaii that's too much work <laughs> for me but they sent police to her and hateful messages and things like that and I'm like to what end didn't y'all know that social media is not a hundred percent of anything that you see especially to me in my opinion <laughs> but I feel like when when couples monetize themselves or you see couples presenting themselves for social media consumption then you're even less likely to be getting a hundred percent of the truth to be clear nobody ever knows what goes on between a man and a woman except that man and woman you know what they present you know what they represent but you never really know what's happening between them and so I don't know if people are upset because they thought they knew the ins and outs and they're they're feeling betrayed like I do not understand what the big deal is I just feel like take the lesson out of it you know my grandmother used to always say chew the meat spit out the bone the lesson to me would be yet yeah, no people aren't always their authentic selves um, yes they were entertaining you enjoyed it what's wrong with that by no means do I think people should do all of the criticizing and stuff that they're doing in a dog pile of like what is the end result that people are looking for that's what I wonder um, has she already received the message that um, you were not authentic she has has she already received the message that people are or some people aren't going to listen to her anymore they're not going to follow her they've unfollowed her and yeah she has so why there just seems to be this prolonged beating of her down I do not understand I don't um I heard another aspect of them saying um something like and I don't even know if that's true that she promoted black women not dating black men but instead dating white men and all of that and now look at this and you were being fake and da 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 okay well either you're gonna do it or you're not like if you are someone if you're a black woman who was already dating black men did that girl telling you to date white men make you say you know what no, i don't know not no more no, did, she, did she really do that if so you need to get off the internet for real like post haste so i just i don't understand why they are just pounding and beating on that child it makes me want to hug her <laughs> bad for her she's made mistakes and I don't know about y'all but in my 20s and my 30s and a couple times in my 40s I made mistakes you know like let that girl breathe take whatever you wanted out of that get whatever lesson you think you needed to get from that and then move on it's just weird how people are just so freaking negative now it's, it's it's mean it's downright nasty is what it is anyway that's my two cents on that
I feel like I'm way off center, but anyway. <laughs> Where should I be? Anyway, I want to keep talking just for the sake of talking. Thank you so much for stopping by, tuning in, and checking out my little progress of what's going on. This is probably going to be a very short vlog, so thank you for such a quick visit. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already done so. I need a little bit of that encouragement. Leave me a toilet emoji if um, you didn't know about that little toilet tip because I mean it's one of those things that you just kind of assume people might know or might not I don't know sometimes I feel like I get on here and I say things and people are like duh we already knew that but otherwise um <laughs> I'm just blabbing let me stop thank you again for stopping by and until next time take care all right so here's the view of the living room and the tree it's not as tall as i thought it was in the store but it is still taller than the other one still haven't found that doggone white candle turn on the fireplace in august you know darn well i ain't got it blowing heat but anyway here is my bedroom view of the tree i think it works in this space too i do miss my sconces that i uh, put in in the other place, but overall I think this is still a good look So I guess I can go ahead and pop the tags off the trees and keep them. Thanks again for tuning in and take care